Hey everybody, Eric Hayden here in the garden. I hope you enjoyed the videos over the last week or so, and I really appreciate the new subscribers. Uh, we did that presentation on starting a new rose garden. We like to try to cover things from A to Z for the beginning gardener, because a lot of times we show all this crazy stuff from somebody like me that has a lot of roses, and it can certainly be intimidating. The point of this video is to give you a little update on how the roses are doing, but also talk about fertilization, something I'm getting ready to do in terms of the liquid program. So if you've ever used something like miracle Grow or Fish Emulsion, you're going to stay tuned because I'm going to talk about that. Hopefully you can tell from the videos um, compared to just a couple weeks ago, the rose garden is looking outstanding. Things are really starting to come um, into form in terms of the leaves. I've got a couple buds. Um, it looks still looks like Dublin Bay there in the far back part of the garden. Uh, climbing rose will probably be the first one that has blooms and we'll certainly show you that here over the next couple weeks. Quick update on the maidens. Maverick still looking good and Cajun Moon that's almost two inches that it sprouted out that bud eye so that's looking really really good. So what I want to talk about today is liquid fertilization and as I walk over to where I do the fertilizing I really want you to pay attention that you need to focus in on what you want to do. I'm going to talk about liquid fertilization. I'm going to talk about doing it every week, every two weeks. You don't have to do that. Um, if you just want to put um, a handful, about a half cup to a cup of slow release fertilizer around each rose when you prune, and then maybe a couple times during the summer, that's all you need to do. You don't need to get crazy like I am with the liquid program. If you choose to do it, um, you know, you will get some better results. But when we show you these types of things, this is just more for information. You need to find what works for you. For you, 40 plus roses might not work, and that's fine. But take a look at what we're doing here, adapt it to your garden, and stick with it. So the whole point is, as a beginner gardener, just plant a couple rose bushes. A slow release fertilizer a couple times throughout the year is more than adequate. If you want to supplement with some liquid fertilization, that will help it, and that's what I'm going to talk about. Traditionally, when we talk about liquid fertilizer, we're talking about um, some type of um, quick release, like a miracle Grow 20-20-20, fish emulsion, or something else. Um, these usually are a tablespoon per gallon, and they are usually applied, according to the directions, every two weeks. And I did that a week ago, so I've already done my first dose of liquid fertilization. I'm feeling pretty spry though, so I'm gonna to try to do weekly fertilization. The way you do that is, instead of having a tablespoon per gallon, you do half of that rate. So that would be a half a tablespoon per gallon. And I've got my little measuring cup. The way I do it, um, again, it's probably a slower method. I know other folks have a big garbage can and they put it all in. Some folks hook up a siphon. Um, haven't done that yet. So I have all these four gallon pails or buckets. One is five gallon back there. And you can find these at your local bakery. A lot of times when we get back to normal, stop by the store and ask if they have um, any of these. I love them because they have a top on top and this is where I can store a lot of my dry fertil fertilizer. The reason why I like the um, buckets, they're square, so you can kind of get a little bit of angle to them as you're pouring out your uh, formula. So, four gallons is a quarter cup of whatever I want per bucket. That works out to a tablespoon per gallon. So I just put a quarter cup in each one of these of whatever I want, fill it up, and apply uh, to each bush. Roughly a gallon per bush. So since it's a four gallon container, um, in this case I would do a little bit on that one, that one, that one, and that one. And roughly over those four bushes spread out a whole bucket. If I think I went a little low on that one, let's say, on the next application I'll hit it uh, with the second round. So it's not perfect, but it certainly gets the job done. Um, when I do use these four gallon containers, I'm getting an exact ratio because again, I use a quarter cup per four gallons. You might say, well, Eric, that says an eighth of a cup. When you are gonna do weekly fertilization, you dilute it in half. So a tablespoon per gallon every two weeks would be a uh, would be a half tablespoon per gallon every week. So instead of using an eighth of a cup, I'm using, or instead of a fourth of a cup, I'm using an eighth of a cup. Again, do the math. This works out to a half a tablespoon per gallon. So uh, I put it in my bucket. All the brown stuff you see in there is either fish emulsion 
or um, there's something Neptune's Harvest um, has some fish emulsion in it, has some seaweed. It's that purple bottle over there. It's got some molasses. Um, it's got some microbes in it, all kinds of good stuff. Um, this tends to be a little expensive, to be on, uh, quite honest with you. So I did not purchase this. Um, again, it's uh, 264, but it's got some fish emulsion, uh, seaweed, uh, molasses. Um, humic acid so lots of good stuff but I think this gallon might run like 35 or 40 dollars a little too pricey for me um, I won that at a rose show so that's why I still have that I'm more apt to buy this um, Alaska fish fertilizer 511 I can't say it enough search for this kind of stuff online and see what you can get for free shipping I, I google it google it google it and then every once in a while, Walmart will run a sale, $16, $17, free ship to store. And I'll order four, five, or six of them. Uh, so I've got some for down the road. So uh, fish emulsion is usually $15 to $20. Um, you can get some stuff with seaweed that's more $30 to $40. It's not to knock that, but at half the price, I just don't have the money to be getting um, the fancy stuff all the time. So some type of fish emulsion is, is what I use. I'm using up that because of the uh, I want it at a row show. And this is generic miracle Grow. It's 20-20-20. Um, again, I'm a big believer in buying in bulk and trying to get a good deal. Um, I bought this in a 25-pound bag. If you try to purchase it in four pound increments at your big box store it's gonna be quite expensive uh, i think this was only like 25 or 30 dollars it's got everything that miracle grow has it's 20 20 20. it's got all the micronutrients uh, iron uh, zinc all that kind of stuff and they're very very similar percentages to what miracle grow is um, you'll notice my labels on the side it came in a bag um, but I mentioned that these four gallon containers are awesome for storing. You don't want any moisture getting in there. So I'll just put a lid on that and I want to know what it is. So I cut the um, label off the bag and always tape it on there. Um, incidentally, once I use this up, I'm going to convert over to something that has zero in the middle for um, phosphorus. My soil tests very high for phosphorus. I need nitrogen and it actually tests low for potassium, which is the last number. So I need potassium and I need nitrogen. I do not need phosphorus. Um, so once I've used up this, I am going to um, not buy fertilizers with um, a high middle number because I just don't need it. It would just be wasting. So whole point of this, again, tablespoon per gallon if you're doing it every two weeks, half tablespoon per gallon if you're doing it weekly. What I do is I put all those ingredients in here in the bucket. You can still see the uh, generic miracle Grow and the fish emulsion and uh, this Neptune's Harvest, the good stuff. And then I just fill it up. I've got an irrigation system uh, shallow well for our lawn, and I've got it siphoned off to a hose so I can use this for my... Uh, roses as well so just fill that up that takes about 30 seconds and then I'll slowly go and apply each bucket again to each rose bed and roughly I'm aiming for uh, four gallons per rose bush so about a quarter bucket per rose bush I'm gonna try this weekly one of the advantages of doing it weekly it's a dilute solution so you're supplying a constant amount so picture it this way if you did the instructions tablespoon per gallon twice a month that's fine but you're going to have peaks when you apply it and dips where it starts to get washed away or wear off by doing a dilute solution every week you'll have a slower steady amount which is not as high but it should be a steady application uh, through the remainder of the month itself and the roses um, you know they're really grown at this point you can see the leaves so a little bit of nutrients wouldn't be too bad uh, so those that um, fish emulsion neptune's harvest generic miracle grow will go on the garden you'll see i have a bigger five gallon one that will be for this garden over here um, you can't quite see it but my encore azaleas are starting to bloom so I'm real excited about this um, check out these blooms on these if you're not familiar I'm not an azalea expert uh, but these are supposed to bloom 
in the spring, the summer, and the fall. So three rounds versus a traditional, traditional azalea is only early spring. So we've got four of those and then these two Dublin Bays um, climbing rows. And you can see this is probably the closest bud I have in the garden. It's getting ready to open up. Um, so amongst those six plants, four azaleas and two climbers, I'll spread out five gallons. So roughly a gallon per bush. That's it in the garden. Things are looking good. Mulch has been applied. We did the dry fertilizer. Um, and one reason I should mention by, before I wrap up, the reason why I'm doing this liquid, we're not expecting rain for a couple days. You do not want to put this liquid fertilizer down before a heavy rain. It will just wash right away. Uh, this is your dessert in the garden, something you do uh, sparingly every week or two in light amounts uh, to get the roses uh, going to their peak performance. Hope everybody's staying healthy as we warm up weather-wise, you're getting out into the garden. I should warn people, again, for the middle and eastern part of the country, we're gonna get pretty chilly here, the middle of April. Uh, so we often see cold snaps um, and we might not have a frost or freeze per se for some of us, some will, uh, but it's gonna get pretty chilly here. So enjoy the warm weather if you're warm now, because things might be here uh, changing here over the next couple weeks. Have a great one and I appreciate all the new subscribers we've picked up here in the last week.